Hey there, this is John with Tempered Networks, and today we'll go through how identity-defined networking works and the different components that make up our next-generation networking fabric. With IDN, you can now bring your own networks that deliver cost-effective and scalable connectivity with an instant overlay architecture that's highly available, radically secure, and remarkably simple. And unlike SD-WAN and SDN approaches, the IDN fabric is non-disruptive and can be deployed on top of any IP network with minimal changes to underlying networking and security infrastructure. For this example, we're simplifying a complex environment just to make it easier to show how our technology works. Here, we're connecting two devices, device A and device B. Device A is in a remote location, and device B is located on-premise at headquarters, and they're connecting back over a shared network infrastructure. One of the challenges organizations struggle with is that today's solutions are not flexible enough to provide connectivity and security across all environments and connectivity options. So we end up with a patchwork of tools and technologies that grow over time and end up costing more as time goes by. It's simply not sustainable long term. With IDN, you now have a single centralized network architecture instead of multiple separate networks that you need to interconnect and integrate. The IDN fabric itself is made up of three components. The conductor, which provides centralized orchestration and control of the fabric, HIP services that are deployed together with any resource you are protecting and function as IDN enforcement points, and the HIP relay, which is a HIP service feature and provides identity-based routing. The conductor is the orchestration engine and intelligence behind the IDN fabric and is available as a physical appliance, as a virtual deployment, or in the cloud. It was designed with simplicity in mind, delivering point-and-click management of your network that makes it easy to scale to thousands of devices. Taking a closer look at HIP services, they are software products that support physical or virtual appliances, cloud environments, software installed directly on a client or server, or can be embedded in a custom application or hardware. As a deployment example, our customers often use our products to replace VPNs for remote access or to replace cellular modems for equipment in remote locations where they need dual failover between wired and cellular for high resiliency and availability. The HIP Relay, a HIP service feature, is the world's first identity-based router and introduces identity-based routing that delivers secure connectivity between networks and locations that previously was impractical, if not impossible, to connect. It's now possible to be anywhere in the world and securely connect to resources, whether it's cloud, internal, virtual, or remote environments, without changes to the underlying routing and switching infrastructure. Going back to our diagram, let's walk through a very basic example of how encrypted connectivity is established between two HIP services. The power of the IDN fabric is how easy it is to create secure connectivity at scale to meet your business requirements. Step 1. In this example, device A and B connect via TCP IP to our physical hardware. For something like our client software, the cryptographic identity would simply be bound to the host device. Step 2. The conductor authenticates and authorizes the HIP services via their assured host identities before initiating the data exchange, and then whitelists both HIP switches to communicate with each other through point-and-click policy creation. And step three. After being whitelisted for communication, the HIP services build a tunnel between them for peer-to-peer -peer encrypted connectivity. A couple things that are important to note is that no traffic passes through the conductor it merely defines policy for HIP services. It can go offline and all HIP services will continue to function as normal. And with HIP services, they can protect devices in a one-to-one -one or one-to-many deployment. It just depends on throughput. This has been a quick overview of the foundational components of an identity-defined networking fabric. Now you can easily build flexible and secure networks that deliver a cleaner enterprise architecture that's much simpler to manage, making it easier than ever before to connect, segment, encrypt, and disconnect any device anywhere in the world with minimal modifications to underlying switching and routing infrastructure. Thanks for watching. 
Give us 15 minutes for a demo, and we'll show you how you can easily bring your own network.